I got this Onan transfer switch with a, a generator that I recently picked up. It's a 60 amp. Let me see if I can get a picture of the tag there. But it's 60 amp single phase, 120 volt. And I think I got the wiring figured out. And here it is in all its glory. And what I have is a line voltage is going to be simulated by this trouble light. So I will plug that in and then that will go into the line side of the transfer switch. And I have the generator hooked up on, obviously, the generator side. And then we have this 500 watt bulb as uh, simulating the house load. This switch uh, switches from auto to stop and there's a check position that you can uh, switch to check to start the generator while you still have line voltage. And this the center terminal of this switch is grounded to this ground lug right down here and that is grounded to uh, pin number one here on the terminal block which goes back to the generator and that's ground. <coughs> Uh, terminal 2 on here, the white wire, is the stop circuit, and Terminal 3 is the start circuit. And if you ground Terminal 3, the engine will crank over. If you ground Terminal 2, the engine will stop. And so we start here at this switch, so the center of this is grounded. When it's set to auto, the wire comes down here, goes through the right terminal of this and the left terminal of this relay down here. Then that travels down to the start disconnect box over there, it goes through a relay, and then back up through, it's a crank limiter, and so it goes through that and then up to terminal 3. So when there's no power, this is de-energized, this start disconnect switch, or relay, and this, I call it a start-stop relay. Start-stop relay is uh, this terminal and this terminal are uh, hooked together. And so then that grounds out that circuit. When 115 volts comes into play, this circuit or this relay energizes and it connects this terminal and this terminal together and that goes directly to the stop wire. So when you have 115 volts of line voltage this relay energizes and stops the generator. Once you have 115 volt volts from either the generator or line voltage, this start disconnect relay energizes and opens the circuit to allow starting of the generator. So obviously when you have 115 volts from either the generator or line voltage, you don't want the generator starting. So this keeps that from happening. This is a delay timer, and the way I got this box is it's hooked up to line voltage. I think I mentioned this before. So when line voltage is restored, 
uh, that counts down. It's like a 10 second timer. This, 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 and this are all part of the battery charging circuit for when the generator is just sitting. And uh, so it, this charges the battery with a trickle charge. Let's just come around to the front side here a little bit. There's a potentiometer here. Actually, let me plug this in so it's actually charging. So it's going to click pretty soon and start charging. Okay, we have 50 milliamps going into the battery. And they say to uh, set this to a place where the battery just stays maintained. So you have to come back periodically and check the battery to make sure it's not overcharging or undercharging. But this adjusts the amount of charge going to the battery. This is called an overcrank uh, breaker. And if the engine cranks too long, this will trip. Shut the gas off to the generator and ran it out of gas. And so now I'm going to remove line voltage from the transfer switch and see if this cranking limiter works. Um, after a certain period of time of cranking, that red button should pop out. took significantly longer than I thought it would, but it finally worked. It says to wait a minute before resetting. But I'm just going to try it now. There we go. Hook line voltage back up. Turn the gas back on. And pump it up. Let's try that again. <laughs> 